Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And at first, I wasn't going to do this video. I was just going to do it for the person that asked me some help on this. He is a scroll sawer, but I actually found out something in doing it that might help you in the future. He's a scroll sawer. He wants his pattern. Evidently, he wants a pattern uh, a different color so he can glue it on wood and cut it out. And I guess, and this is not a pattern. This is just an example of a pattern. I hope. But when he uses a smart fill tool, it takes the pattern away. Well, the, the uh, smart fill tool really isn't meant for that. If you have a complete object, you can make it whatever color you want by just coloring it in with your color palette with your left mouse button. That's all I had to tell him. But I just realized this. This is two boxes. And if you weld these two together, well, let's just do this first. Always what I do when I don't know if it's going to work, I put a rectangle around it. And you have your fill set for fill. I'm going to use the Smart Fill tool. And it filled it in. And not only filled it in, it filled it in. It, it repaired the leak or, or bonded the two nodes together. Because now it's one piece and can be colored. This piece right here, if we weld it together, still can't be colored. It is one piece, but Corel knows it's broken, I guess, into two pieces, and it's not really an object where the Smart Fill tool will fill that in. So that's kind of a little bit of good knowledge, and I hope that helped you on your scroll saw work. Anyway, thank you for watching.